part of uh, what we're uh, showcasing here at this event, which is this map enhancement. So here we have the ability, and you can hopefully it's kind of self-explanatory, but we have the Esri base map, and you can see we have a street map, but if you prefer to see a satellite image, for example, you can pick that, or any of this supported Esri base map. So I, I tend to like street map just because it's easier for me to understand. Okay, Rich, I need you to click that again. There you go. See? Yeah. Do we have doesn't to pay him a fee for that because he's helping with this? Maybe it doesn't work upside down. Uh, I think it's just my fingers. I don't know what it is. So, so obviously that's the base map. And as, as Brian mentioned earlier, agencies typically have overlays or a series of overlays to represent either assets or zones or other information. So within this agency, we have all these different overlays here. We have you know, where the fire hydrants are located, manholes, storm sewer lines, city limits, those kind of things, right? So very easily, very easy for me as a decision maker to look at the kind of activity that's happening within my jurisdiction as far as business license applications, uh, fire suppression system inspections, uh, building permit applications, that kind of stuff, with respect to the kind of information that's really relevant, such as, okay, am I getting an application for a liquor store? Is it too close to a school? Well, you know, I, I turn on the school layer and see where it is and see what's going on. Of course, you can turn you can turn on or off. Okay, Rich, pick a couple. There you go. Good enough. And you see the map updates accordingly, right? So similar to the map before, we can pick a push pin, and the same kind of information pops up. Here you can see what. I